We spend a lot of time telling people how to heal. How to make use of your healing skills, avoiding GCD, global cooldown, healing, and keeping people alive. But we tend to never mention the other half of the equation, the people being healed. How they should be reacting to healing. So let's take a little trip through this topic on how you need to be healed. If you enjoyed this guide and want to see more, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and maybe check out my gameplay over on Twitch. The first and most important topic is resurrection. I'm sorry there isn't going to be too much footage of this, because it's kind of hard to show. I don't intend to troll groups and intentionally die. Guiding is important, but I would feel terrible doing that, even with a heads up. Whether it's your fault, the healer's fault, the tank's fault, or the fault of a fellow DPS, you died and need to be revived. Many people don't realize they are raising wrong. You do not need to immediately hit yes to raise. You can wait, and in harder levels of content, you usually should. Maybe the boss is about to use some mechanic that you will mess up by raising during, or there's a lot of heavy damage going out on specific party members as such. They can't heal you when you get up immediately, but throwing out the raise when they had the chance is not a bad call, because you could just time yourself. When you think the coast is clear, it's all safe to get up, hit yes. Don't wait too long still. If you see the boss begin to cast their big raid-wide attack, now is a good time to hit yes. Timing this will come naturally with learning a specific fight. After hitting yes, do not hit any actions. I repeat, do not act. Not that you can't run around, that's actually a good thing to do. Move into position, dodge any AoEs that are going out, or so on. But do not attack. Do not hit sprint, do not act. Because upon raising, you have 5 seconds of complete invulnerability. Some debuff giving AoEs will still give the debuffs, which is why you still want to try to dodge, but in most cases, you don't have to. And of course, like tank invulns, super special attacks you're not meant to live through will still re-kill you. But otherwise, wait for a heal before you get back into the fight. If you don't receive a heal in those 5 seconds, well, you could have started attacking sooner is all. But once the invuln timer runs out, get back to fighting. Not much you can do from here besides if you have something like Second Wind. But the healer might just be waiting for a cooldown or is taking care of more pressing concerns first. Be patient, and if you die to unavoidable damage despite having followed the previous advice, then that's just their fault. Just make sure you did follow that advice and didn't time your race poorly. As a healer being raised, you have your own set of heals and all that. As long as you don't die in the middle of your cast, you can typically raise sooner and heal yourself. Just keep in mind the mechanics going on. You might need to immediately get moving to a safe spot, debuffs could be shuffled weirdly in the middle of multi-stage mechanics, or such. Raise quickly, but still keep your wits about you. For tanks, you also need to try and raise quickly. If you're in a light party, you're the only tank. That means any living enemies and bosses are hitting the DPS. Even if the healer is handling it just fine, leaving things like this will be pretty bad. You need to get up and hit Provoke, or spamming AoEs for trash mobs. But even if you're a tank, getting up with low HP can still mean you die a moment later. You are hitting yes as soon as possible to get back to being a tank, but if your healer hasn't thrown you a heal, you will just die again. And while I always say DPS is undervalued as a party member, a slower kill is probably better than if the boss killed you again, then just went back to eating the DPS. Make sure you have a bit of HP before you take back your position, at least when possible. Sometimes you really do just have to run back in immediately. But if you do get a heal, the healer immediately gets you healthy, or you know there's no major damage coming out soon, provoke sooner than later. You should be able to survive a boss doing an auto attack or three. If you still die in that amount of time, that's probably on the healer. That or you're doing savage. It's a balancing act though, and probably hardest to time for tanks. Tanking a boss is super easy, but getting back into it after dying is a lot harder. Luckily, in full parties or alliance raids, there's more tanks than just you. Often you can relegate yourself to off tank and let the other tank handle the boss. Mechanics permitting at least. Which means you can shift priorities to more how a DPS reacts to a raise. Time it well and use the invuln if need be. Make sure you don't die again and things are good. Then also be sure to get second in enmity. Normal tank rules still apply. Regardless, this invulnerability is a key part of being raised. Do not forget it. And learn how to abuse it as much as you can. 
You will be so much better off if you do. Now how about that limbo the healer is playing in trash pools? You're sitting low HP, still low, still low. Oh, you're still alive and the battle is over. Part of what inspired this video in the first place was a tank lamenting the fact that the healer was using the HP bar as they should, as a resource. They didn't die, the healer kept everyone alive even. The problem was that they let the tank ever drop low on HP. Now, for something like Warrior, it's a bit harder to gauge how you're relating to your healer, because your best skill is a heal, and you have three other skills that will give you some amount of healing. So try to remember this is more general ideaship, because generally, this is good and healthy, and usually intended by the healer. A low HP bar is often even encouraged by the healer's skills. Benediction on White Mage is a full heal, so more HP missing means a stronger effective heal. Scholar has Excogitation, which only actually applies the heal if you fall below 50% HP, or when the 40 second timer runs out, which is never the intent. Astrologian has Essential Dignity, which gets stronger the lower HP you have, and this one in particular you get at level 15. Low HP generally is not something to be scared about unless you're like below 5%, and often that's not even because of a lack of healing. If you're a DPS and you are really that scared, you might have stuff like Second Wind and Bloodbath. No, not Vicure. If you're a tank, the healer is already focusing on you. Hitting that low might have been completely intended. Okay, maybe not, but you still gotta trust your healer. Keep doing what you're doing as normal. Don't suddenly shift everything you're doing because of the healer's actions. The only time you should be doing this is if, like, you're dead. If the healer isn't struggling to keep up, there's no reason to freak out. You are alive, you did nothing wrong, and even the best healers can make mistakes. We're all human. You don't need to suddenly pull less enemies or mitigate more, assuming you're not under-mitigating. They just made a mistake, which just happens. There's a reason the only HP that matters is the last one is a motto, because it's true. If you don't die, the healer did their job. The entire rest of your HP bar is their playground. It might be scary, but you don't need to worry. The worst that happens is a wipe, and that's hardly that big a deal, especially in dungeons. Now we covered dead and low HP, but what about high HP without being full? No, don't you dare, don't you- No, bad red mage. Missing 20% of your HP bar does not mean it is time to vercure. It means that 20% doesn't matter. Outside of higher level or higher difficulty fights, a little bit of missing HP means nothing. A boss is not going to do 80% of your HP in a single shot in most content. And yet that's where we see stuff like Clemency and Vercure being used the most. For that tiny bit of missing HP that is so pointless, even the healer doesn't care. If the healer is leaving you below max HP, it's not just out of ignorance or anything. The same as the other situations, they might be waiting for a specific cooldown and will use that. Or just as likely, still, they don't care. They don't have to because you have the HP to survive what comes next. And HP-based Doom mechanics are few and far between, signaled by an uncleansable Doom after everyone is set to 1 HP. What you should really be worrying about instead is dodging. Dodge avoidable damage. The absolute best way you can be healed is to not take damage to begin with. Worry less about what that little bar above your character says to the point you run into something you shouldn't. Now it's far emptier than what you were too busy staring at. Now you have a vulnerability debuff and are taking extra damage. If instead you focused on dodging, you wouldn't have died two seconds later to the unavoidable damage. Damage that would have killed you even if you started at max HP. More important than your HP bar is using mitigations on the harder content. You can even practice doing so in lower level content. Faint and Addle are actually really cool skills. Shoring up your mechanics is also a surefire way to save HP. Hey, I made a video about that one, and may even make another one. Know how to handle mechanics, know how to dodge, and your healer will have a far better time, as will you. If you have any further tips on how you should be healed, feel free to leave them down below. In the meantime, 
Why not check me out on Twitch? I'm also on Twitter and Blue Sky. Can also join me in my community Discord. Links to other relevant videos will be there as well, such as that mechanics video. Mechanics isn't about memorization, and we'll go over why. And if you enjoyed this and want to see more guides or other types of videos I'll be doing, please hit subscribe. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated. Also, a few days ago I learned that if you show people this statistic, even at the end of a video, it angers some people. I've known for a long time that it apparently does help to mention this, but I'm doing it to scare those people. Boo. Boo. Christmas is the same as Halloween, right? See you for the new year. Take care and may the power of anodid hogs lay waste to your enemies.